Welcome to another tutorial. I'm Tim and this one the question is how do I make engraved text in GIMP? Alright, well I have a couple of boards ready and we're going to engrave a board and if you, by the way, if you want these boards, you want these files so that way you can follow along or so you can do whatever you're working on, your project, just click on the link in the description box on this video and you can download these. So I'm going to drag one of them and I'm going to drag it over the GIMP and we'll wait for GIMP to load it. <coughs> okay, cool. Now, one thing is I want to get like the right color to work with. So I'm going to use, here's your toolbox right here. These are all your tools. I'm going to click on this one right here, the color picker tool. And I'm going to pick like, see like I select like that blondish brown color and where I can select this, um, like right here in this crack right here, like that black, like rotting wood or something. Uh, well, what I'm going to click on is like something kind of like medium, like a, like a medium brown. There we go. And I'm going to actually change it up a little bit, make it a little bit more desaturated. I like that. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my text. Start on the left side of your canvas, drag, hold and drag to the very right side. You want to do that so that way we don't have to think about centering because as long as over here in our tool options or on this right here the centering icon it's going to automatically do the work for us which is what we want we want to be lazy so we'll go ahead and type what we want to engrave and you can type your um, engraving title or message and there we go that looks pretty good and that's a nice color but the reason we actually chose that color is you'll see in a minute so we're gonna use this tool right here called the select by color tool uh, we'll go ahead and get it ready and click on that but for now you see how there's like this dotted outline around the text and it's not out here at the edge of the canvas well, we can fix that by going to layer to image size. Okay. And then go to filters, um, map, displace. And for these auxiliary inputs, just click on there and click your board. Same thing for the other one. And go ahead and start increasing these displacement values right here. Just leave everything the same like this don't have to mess with it just like the defaults and then I'm gonna bring it up to like five or six six is a little strong I'm gonna back it off and go to five that's nice see like right here what it did it like made the letters almost like working with the grain and the wood so it looks really natural now you can click center displacement and a lot of times that will help also but it's not even necessary it looks really good i'm gonna hit okay and that was simple look how fast we got something that already almost looks half engraved so from here um i got ahead of myself by uh going to the select by color tool so now we're gonna go back over there and i just get excited and start putting the cart before the horse <laughs> but uh let me click on there and then Make sure we're on the right layer, the layer with our text. And we're going to click out here. And you're like, there is no color out there. That's transparent. Right. But the select by color tool can select transparency like it's a color, any other color. So go ahead and do that. And there we go. We got it. Now, here's where some fun stuff happens. But before we get to that, um, go you were already clicked on the text layer change it from normal to soft light where is that at anyway soft light I know you guys are like yelling there it is okay <laughs> so go to now that we have the selection of the transparency we're gonna go to filters light and shadow and we're gonna go down to the old drop shadow 
and we'll change it to like you know, like 15 not 156 but uh 15 and then blur radius we'll keep it like 15. Uh, bring the opacity all the way up make sure your color is black and allow resizing hell no don't uh, you know just uncheck that and then hit okay oh yeah that's what i'm talking about i'm ready to save some trees and then go back over here to filters and we're going to do it again we're going to go lights and shadow the old drop shadow and what we're going to do this time is we're going to change the offset to zero change the for both the, the x and the y and then we're going to just like uh, we'll actually turn that blur radius up to like 25 or 30 30 is good and then we'll hit OK and that added a nice blur in there to kind of darken it and make it look like we're deeper um, like you can still see the grain through but there's like a blur over it and also we still have that other color that we added uh, from the original brown that's on the soft light so basically what all that means is you can still see the grain below but it's like got its blur and a nice shade that looks like we're kind of like deep it looks like we're we're engraved and uh that's pretty dang awesome i'm gonna hit select none now and that's cool and that is how you engrave your boards and also if you want you can add a little bit of shadow on the other side let me undo go all you have to do is just do it one more time go to lights and shadows drop shadow and here's a little trick a lot of people don't know you can make these values negative so go to like negative four and then or we'll go to negative three like negative three negative three and we'll turn the blur down like 10 or something and hit OK and what that did was it added a little bit of the same effect that we did on the other side but it added it on the other side but not so much that it's too strong because we like the effect that we have but we want to make it just just so you can kind of tell that there's some depth over there too but the shadow is more on one side now you can do the exact same thing and go negative 16 or negative 15, negative 15. And you can do the exact same thing as we did on this side to this side. But it looks better this way when there's kind of like a light coming in from one side. But uh, there you go. I'm working on more tutorials right now. So I'll see you in my next one.